this week I had a Twitter debate, just like I have a Twitter debate every week. This time it was with an individual by the name of Serena Daniari. After we exchanged a few tweets, I invited Serena to the show for an open dialogue, and I was absolutely thrilled that unlike most people on the left who won't talk to me face to face, Serena agreed to join me in person. Unfortunately, after my producers booked Serena's flight and hotel, Serena backed out. So instead of having that conversation, we are instead going to have this segment of CounterPoints. So this is where the entire debate began. It was actually about vaccines. Um, and Serena came across my rhetoric, uh, which she deems to be anti-vax, because I have been very open with the fact that I am not comfortable with the rush nature of the COVID-19 vaccines or the pressures around getting the vaccines. And so I've made a personal decision uh, not to get the vaccine. And this deeply upset Serena. Serena tweeted to me, you are the one who is deranged and urging your millions of followers that the only true means of preventing a deadly virus that has taken hundreds of thousands of lives is not effective. Live without fear by all means, but to spread delusional lies is morally repugnant. And this amazed me. It amazed me that Serena called me delusional because in case you did not know, Serena is trans. So. I had stumbled across the internet as somebody uh, who is a trans woman who is accusing me of being delusional because I am making a personal decision um, regarding my own health. And it actually gets even more bizarre. Uh, Serena went on in this Twitter exchange, and of course I answered back, and I said, I just want to make sure that you are a trans woman telling me that I am a delusional person because I choose not to get a vaccine. You believe that between you and I, I am living in a delusion, is that correct? To which Serena answered, yes, queen, I believe you are delusional. While my decision as a trans woman to get breast implants and turn my penis into a vagina impacts literally no one but me, your choice to deny science and spread anti-vax misinformation that spread delusion impacts many. Denying science. A trans woman is accusing me of denying science. Is biology not science? Is anatomy not science? It, are none of these things physiology? Is that not science? So this is where we are in 2021, where we are now being preached to about the reality of science by people that have made decisions to transform their bodies and believe fully that they can actually pick their genders. And of course, this spat went on, it went back and forth, and Serena uh, then said, I say this to you with an open heart. There is no singular experience of womanhood. Reducing women to anatomy and reproductive abilities is an insult to so many women, trans and cis. What about the women who have fertility issues? Are they less of a woman? Those with hysterectomies, period. Okay, I want to respond to this because it's important. I have been a very loud voice against the transgendered movement, and I feel that I am one of the few voices that is standing up for women. I want to continue to do that right now on CounterPoint. So um, CounterPoint number one is that this culture of the media and the academia and people pretending that being a woman means to simply walk in and pay for a cosmetic procedure is deeply misogynistic. My second counterpoint to you, Serena, is that a cosmetic procedure, believing that Going in and getting breast implants makes you a woman is an insult. I'll tell you why. Because what this trans movement represents is a caricature of what it means to be a woman. Being a woman isn't just having a procedure and getting your breasts on. I don't believe that Dolly Parton is more of a woman because she has extra large breasts. I want to give this to you another way. And I'll ask the question, Serena, do you believe that you can pick your race? Do you think race is a social construct? Do you believe that if you dyed your skin black and said, yo, 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 what up my N-word, that would mean that you were suddenly black? Or would you realize that that would make you more of what it means to be black? That would be a joke to believe that because you said, ayo, and you rap, and you wear a chain and some gold teeth, hey, I'm black. No, that would be an insult and a stereotype. And it is an insult and a stereotype to believe that makeup and breasts makes somebody a woman. And as my last 
It's deeply hurtful and deeply upsetting, and I will continue to be a voice against it. Thank you guys so much. As always, I always invite anybody to have a dialogue that is willing. Up next, and in continuing this conversation, one man's story of his transition and the regret that followed. Stay tuned.